What's up everyone, it is BrickLover18 here today, back with another episode of Ask Brick. For those of you who may not know or are new to my channel, Ask Brick is my Q&A show here on YouTube where you ask me questions down in the comments below across any of my videos, but especially this one, and I will answer them in a future episode of Ask Brick with my honest and true answer. You guys can ask me anything about Lego, my personal life, whatever that may be, and of course I'll answer it in Ask Brick. So let's get right into this week's questions. Alright, so before we get started, don't forget to leave any questions you may have for me for Ask Brick down in the comments below. Ask them now and I'll be sure to answer them in a future episode. Tarvin Deer Core asks, Ask Brick, have you stopped the Will These Lego Sea Planes Float series and if so, why? So kind of, I guess I could say. So that, to me, wasn't really a series. That was a one-off video that I made because I had a few state planes that I wanted to test out and, well, see if they floated. Lego's not really in the business of making too many seaplanes. They've only made a couple, you know, maybe a dozen or so over the years. So once, you know, they release more seaplanes and I acquire more seaplanes, then I could definitely see myself making another Willy Seaplanes float video. However, because I'm more focused on the boats and Lego releases what seems like dozens of boats every year, year I would say that's like the principal series that I focus on that's like the will it float and then of course if there's seaplanes or any other product that comes out that I think might be interesting to test out I of course will give it a test so in short answer no I didn't really stop that series because it never really got started I only made the one video because those are all the seaplanes I had but like I said if I am able to acquire more seaplanes in the future or something like that I will definitely make more videos but I would say the the main series is the will it floats because I've done many will it floats in the past will it float boats will it float ships in a bottle and who knows what else we will see it's always up in the air because that's a cool theme and well it's a surprise and we'll have to test out see what floats chicken mcchicken asks ask brick are there lego star wars parts on the build a minifigure wall in the lego store so i have never ever seen licensed part in the build a minifigure section and i imagine that has to do with a few things one minifigure parts with licenses are expensive not only do they only come in a certain amount of sets but they are also licensed so when from my understanding of licensing agreements, when Lego sells, say, a Star Wars set, the Star Wars, uh, like Disney, would get a cut of that set for the licensing fees because they're licensing their designs to be put on those Lego minifigures. So when they sell a set, Disney would get a fee. However, at the BAM wall, you would never know which parts go into some of these minifigure. So you would, like, theoretically not be able to pay Disney their fee for, you know, that torso, that helmet, or whatnot. Plus, the build a minifigure section is pretty generic. It's a lot of Lego City and just, like, Lego collectible minifigures and, like just extra torsos it kind of feels and things that are way more generic or maybe sometimes seasonal but there is no license or anything like that and I think that's also to do with a little bit of the magic I think the licensing definitely has a lot to do with it but it's also the same way you'll never see a Ninjago torso in the build a minifigure section it's just that is a very specific torso a very specific theme and I think Lego tries to make their build a minifigure section just more up in the air, much more broad and uh, less unique. Uh, it's just a pretty generic torsos, and if you want a couple of minifigures, you definitely could go there. But if you want those specialty parts, you're not going to find them on the build a minifigure section. You're going to have to go on Bricklink or eBay or something like that, like an aftermarket site. And uh, there's probably a few more reasons, but those are like the two that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, I've never seen any licensed parts, Star Wars, whatever theme it may be, never seen any license. For the most part, I think it's all just Lego IP. Uh, and not even all Lego IP, like not Ninjago, stuff like that. Like way more generic city, collectible minifigures, things like that. And it just totally makes sense because, yeah, the build a minifigure, you want to build more generic parts, not very specific ones. And you can get those, those on Bricklink. So short answer is no, you will not find Lego Star Wars parts on the BAM wall. And I can't see that ever changing uh, soon. Armin8BP asks, asks Brick, did you lose any Lego during your move last year? I probably lost a few parts here and there, but I don't think I really lost any Lego when I moved. Like, I, I moved everything, like, right from my studio into my car, right into the new place. So, I probably dropped something here and there. Like, I actually found a minifigure in my car just a few months ago, actually. I'm like, I moved six months ago. How did I not find this minifigure? But I probably, I don't think I lost anything. Like, I, I didn't come in here and be like, 
Where's that set? I can't find it. I did lose a few things because I broke some sets. Um, like I broke the Agent's Transport, which I still haven't rebuilt. It's been over like a year now since I moved and I have not had a chance to rebuild that set. And there's definitely a few other sets out there that I like broke during the process, but rebuilt. So I guess I lost those ones, but I never like lost a set. I never lost a minifigure. And you know, I probably did lose a part here or there. Like maybe a little, a loose part fell off a set when it was moving or something like that. That will never be able to be tracked or or anything at all but for the most part I think I was able to keep my collection pretty contained and yeah and like even though the movers helped and stuff like that nothing was stolen or anything so I would say that's that's a good that's a positive. Antonio 777XX asks can you test the Lego Titanic to see whether or not it will float? I would love to test the Titanic to see if it would float or not and that would be an incredible video and that would be its own separate video. I wouldn't even combine that with any other their Will It Float series. However, the Titanic's a very expensive Lego set and it's just not in the cards right now for me to purchase. I would love to get it eventually, I would love to build it and I would especially love to have it on display here in my Lego room. Uh, but at this point in time it's just not possible for me to get. Uh, but it is definitely a set that I hope to acquire in the future and before it retires. So if I do ever get it I will 100% make a Will It Float video on that Titanic but as I currently don't have it and it's currently not in my you know upcoming vision my line of sight to be purchasing that set it might not happen for a while if it ever does happen but I would absolutely love to buy the Titanic so I'll have to stay tuned and see if I ever you know get that chance to do it and if like so I'm saying it here I will test to see if it will float and it will be a great video and it will be very very interesting so yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see. If you guys want to donate to help me get the Titanic, you can uh, do it through my PayPal address, rickleber18 at gmail.com. I'll never say no to it, but yeah, for right now, no plans for the Titanic. Gulp12 asks, Ask Brick, how does one simply start a Lego content channel? Well, I think it might be a little harder now, but you guys gotta do it. And that's my only advice is just do it. When I started Lego back in 2012, when I started my Lego YouTube channel back in 2012 to clarify, I just went with it. I was like, hey, I'm watching these videos on YouTube. I think I can make content just like this and I think you know people would enjoy it. So I'm just gonna start. And that's exactly how I started creating Lego content. I had a camera, I had a laptop, and I went to work. Now it's even easier. You don't even need a camera. You don't even need a laptop. You just need a mobile phone. You could make plenty of really good Lego content videos just with your phone. You don't need a microphone. You don't need a camera. You don't need monitors and laptops. Like you could just do it on your phone, edit on your phone, upload on your phone. I would say honestly, just go for it. If you wanna make content on like TikTok or anything like that, I feel like that's even easier to do because everything's right in the app and you just get to, you know, record and jump on the day's trends and just go for it like to get started in lego content is easy you just got to be passionate and you just got to go for it you just got to find the niche find what makes you happy find what makes you excited about lego and share that with the world like my only advice to you is you know obviously go for it and don't put an 18 or a number in your youtube channel don't do it. Just trust me. Do not do it. It's not worth it. You will want to change it 10 years later and be stuck because you have no idea what you want to change it to. But yeah, just absolutely go for it because if you want to do it, if it's something that you're thinking about doing, you're, you're passionate about, you're excited about, get it done and you won't regret it later because there's never a good time to start it. Don't wait for a new camera. Don't wait for anything. Just, just go. Just get it done. Max Headroom asked, Ask Brick, does the chlorine in the pool water affect the Lego plastic at all when you test to see if it will float? So this is actually a really good question and it's something I did consider before I ever made my Will It Float series way back in 2016 was the first one. So no, from my experience so far, the chlorine has not impacted my Lego in any way or another, you know, positively or negatively. I think actually the biggest thing I was most worried about when I first tested these boats out, whether or not it would ruin the stickers from the Lego sets or if it would be okay. It turns out, you know, six, seven years later, it has been okay. I have not seen stickers deteriorate because they've been in the pool. I have not seen the plastic deteriorate because they've been in the pool. And I think it's because even though it is a chlorine pool, it is a pretty low chlorine pool. Like it's not very, very crazy. It's only, it's my family's personal pool. So you can't even really smell the chlorine or anything like that. Like it's just, it's there to the bare minimum to keep it clean. It's not like a public pool where it's so bad of chlorine that might do some damage to the bricks, but because it's my family's pool and it's very fresh and everything like that, uh, I've not noticed the 
chlorine doing any damage. The water hasn't really done any damage. And I just don't leave the Lego out in the sun to dry. I, I just put them in for a little bit, get the shots of the video, and then get them out of there. Just because I don't want the sets to be ruined and I don't want the, my test to destroy anything. But that's definitely a good question and a good consideration before you do anything. So if you think your pool is, you know, a little, little less on chlorine and it won't destroy your bricks, Go for it, make those test videos. But yeah, I, I have not seen the chlorine water in the pool affect my bricks in any way whatsoever. So the last question I'll take today is from Armin8PB. Ask Brick, do you think Lego is intentionally increasing their prices? And if so, why? Yeah, 100%, Lego is intentionally increasing their prices. And I know that because Lego has said that they're intentionally increasing their prices. You know, the price of Lego for the last little bit has always felt like it's been rising. I just finished filming a video unboxing a pirate set from 2008. And in that video, I was like, this is probably a $29.99 set when it came out. And I looked on brick set and it turns out it was only $19.99. Now that same set would probably start at $44.99 or something like that, just because it think Lego has gotten more expensive. So not only has Lego gradually been, you know, increasing the prices of their sets and feel like decreasing the part count, they've recently said we are blatantly putting up the prices on previously released Lego sets. And why are they doing this, you might ask? Well, because the entire world is doing it. The entire world is dealing with inflation. Gas prices are way different than they were a year ago. Since COVID, the cost of food has gone up tremendously. I remember, you know, grocery shopping, I used to spend 30 bucks and I was set for a week. Now I'm spending 60 and I'm like getting 10 items. Like it's, it's absolutely insane. Everything, price of food in restaurants, like it has just gone so, so crazy. And Lego's, you know, doing theirs to match. Not only were they going up already incrementally, now they've just skyrocketed. The price of Lego feels so expensive now. Some sets feel like a good value. Other sets, it's just like, oh my God, like that's so expensive for what I feel you get. And it's just, I guess, all part of the world. I'm not an economics major. I don't understand numbers like that. I don't know why the price of Lego is increasing, but my wage has not increased at work. I'm not really sure about that, but it's just life is crazy right now and the price of everything is going up and I guess Lego just decided they wanted to follow suit. I don't necessarily agree with it because they are still hitting record number profits and they have been selling out products like forever. So I don't understand why they need to increase their revenue when it's decreasing my revenue. But at the end of the day, it's a business and the more money the business has, the better. And you know what? I'd rather Lego have a little bit more money than go bankrupt again and stop making products because that would absolutely suck. So yeah, Armin, Lego is intentionally increasing their prices. It sucks. I'm upset about it. Everybody in the world's upset about it. But at the same time, it feels like it's just got to be something that's done because the world is changing as we know it. And yeah, it's just... I, I don't know, maybe somebody that knows economics will comment down below and explain it a little bit better, but I guess it just, just seems like it's got to be the way it is. But I guess if we want to rebel, we could stop buying as many Lego products, which honestly I have done. I have stopped buying as much Lego product just because it's so expensive now. I've got a full room of it and I want to make sure I'm enjoying what I have before I just rush out and constantly buy the newest and best thing. Not I'm not slowing down or I'm not stopping buying Lego, I'm just more or less slowing down and not buying as much for no reason. I want to pick and choose more or less the sets that I get. But anyway, guys, that has been another episode of Ask Brick. Thank you all so much for asking all those questions. I hope I was able to answer them and make you happy with that today. Of course, like I said earlier in this video, if you guys do have questions for me, please leave them down in the comments below, and I'm looking forward to doing them in a future episode of Ask Brick. So thanks again so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.